Um, who was in Children's Church last week? Raise your hand. You were in Children's Church? Were you? No? Okay. We have been talking about, for those of you that don't know, we have been talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Last week, we talked about a fruit of the Spirit that is very much a lot like what we're talking about today in church. Do you remember, Max, what the fruit of the Spirit was? Goodness, very good. And who remembers what we said it means? What does goodness mean to us? Olivia? You will do what is right. I will do what is right. That's correct. And remember we talked about choices, good choices and bad choices. And the more good choices we made, the closer we get to God and the easier it is to make good choices. And the bad, more bad choices we make, the easier it is to make bad choices, right? Is it always easy to do what is right? No, it's not. Not even just for you guys, but for big people too. It's not always easy to do what's right. We know a lot of times, don't we? Most of the time we know what's right and wrong. But that doesn't mean we always do what is right. Sometimes it's hard to do what is right. Well, you know what? This problem goes way, way back. It didn't start here with us. The Israelites, a long, long time ago, they had a problem. They knew what God wanted them to do, but they had a problem too, doing what is right all the time. And they would fall into making bad choices and doing wrong things, and then they just did more bad things and more bad things. And it was hard for them to get back on track. So God would send somebody to them to help them remember the laws that he gave them and help them keep back get on track and get good choices and to do what is right. We have people like that today, don't we? Yes, we do. Who's some people that helps us get back on track? My mom and dad. Our moms and our dads. And God. And God. Yes. How about our pastor? And our teachers. Right? God still puts people in our lives to help us get back on track and to remember to be good and to do what is right. And I'm so thankful for that. God never gave up on the Israelites, and he's not going to give up on us. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much that you continue to have faith in us and you continue to choose us to be your people and to love us. And we thank you, Lord, that you put people in our lives to help us remember to do what is right. We ask you, God, that in everything we do, we try to remember to make those right choices and stay close to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.